Okay, guys, welcome to February 10th. So we are going to talk about the oil and gold right now. So we have heard the news that uh, Donald Trump is not going to hit the oil price uh, down as bad as we thought. So why is that? Because we, uh, the, the U.S. remember two years ago, the oil price and the shell gas price was dropping. They were dropping a lot uh, two years ago. So um, by then, in between the years, many of the energy companies. Uh, uh, literally uh, went to bankruptcy. So to prevent that to happen, so um, there's kind of a signal or rumors that Donald Trump may not really push down the oil price that much. But uh, in short term, uh, however, he's really have to uh, still trying to sell the um, crude oil to the world so that he can profit more and show the world that he's the president, he can earn money, he can profit. But that is also always a secret that U.S. how much oil that U.S. is holding. So right now, Donald Trump says, screw it, man. So it's just, I will just sell all the gas right now and oil right now. But uh, in short term, of course, the oil price has to be like discounted a bit so that he can make some instant profit for the United States. So that is the case that in short term, all, uh, the oil price is still not too stable. So we can look at the uh, price. The oil price is not that stable, but um, some of the big banks or the uh, uh, OPEC news about something like that. So it always hit 51 level and it will we bound. So the last thing is we have to we see a little triangle here. If it breaks above forty five dollars, and we may uh, challenge the new higher fifty five to fifty six dollars. If that is uh, broken above, then it can challenge sixty dollars to seventy five. Yes, you heard me right, seventy five dollars a barrel. So you may have really have to do some homework of what tools we should use to buy uh, oil, but like. Apparently, we're not going to buy oil and save it in our basement, right? But so ETF futures or stocks, they're all good as long as you find good things. But oil stock, you have to really have to look at income statement and the cash flow, how they profit in cash, not in the accounting wise fake statements. Okay, so um, if you want to talk about stocks, I can do that also. So, um, um, and that's the uh, that's about it. And cut loss place is 51 if you're comfortable with that. But mainly, I would want to talk about US, uh, the uh, uh, the, 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 the gold okay so the US dollar is going up the trend is pretty good but if you look at the channel right uh, at, right at the bottom so this is one point so how in, in, in case of how, how you don't know how to construct a channel that's a specific rule not that you say oh it looks like a channel then that in the end you know eventually all, you're the only one who can see the channel Right. All right. You need the market to see the channel. So this one point, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine times nine, ten, and the eleven times with a very rich, I mean, bullish candle like breaking above strongly. So um, in the twelfth time and the thirtieth, it's coming back down. So right now it's pretty good, but we found that there's a limit. Maybe we can look at the 100.1, 101.62. That is the limit. So if that's a B wave, it will hit the C wave down. If that's not a B wave, you will see it uh, has, uh, will give us a strong signal that breaking above and then USD will really be rebound. But think about that. Right now, today's euro is not as bad as we think because um, the interest rate cannot get any lower and the CPI is pretty good right now. So with that being said, so the downtrend is limited, so euro will be rebound, will, will, will rebound, right? So if euro is almost 50, like 50% 50 of the US index, so even there's the good news from the US uh, like in raising the interest rate, but because currency is uh, is is pairing, so USD has really have to look uh, at the trend of the euro. So if euro is rebounding, USD has a greater chance, fifty percent chance, it's going down already. Unless the really big news that we more than expected that USD will go up higher, maybe. Uh, something like to uh, this year, Donald Trump will say, "I will go raise the interest rate for ten times or twenty times." If that news is are already anticipated, I'm afraid that USD the trend will be going down. So that's the trend you can buy oil and gold. But right now, you see gold tonight. If that's uh, that's the signal right now. If that stays at 12, 12 26 or twelve twenty five, twenty four, that's a uh, okay. That's an okay signal. Then don't don't short it. But what I say is, this is the above this. It's this thing looks it's really bad. So if that we it's closest below, like 
12.22, you can try shorting the uh, gold, even ETF or futures, until like 20, uh, until 12.20, or even until 11.80 or 11.60. That's my update for you guys. So see you next time. Please subscribe our YouTube channel, hit the bell, and then the bell button, and then like our Facebook page, and please leave some comment and like my um, the video if you like it. So I see every time the like 10 or 12 of you uh, will look at the clip, and some of the video will already surpass 2,000. Uh, so really, thank you very much. So again, investing is a global thing. Please don't stop this movement or the correct culture uh, because of any language barrier because I don't speak English very well. So please subscribe my YouTube channel if you like my videos. So see you next time. Bye.